let's take a look at setting up the QuickBooks desktop integration. We'll first go to System Settings, Company Setup, Integrations, and we'll switch on the QuickBooks desktop. We then need to go into Setup and download the QWC file. We'll save this file. Once downloaded, we can double click on the file and it'll prompt you to authorize the new web service. We'll click OK. It will then switch us over to QuickBooks where we can say yes whenever QuickBooks company files open and click continue. Last, it'll ask for confirmation on access. We'll click on done. This will bring up the QuickBooks web connector. We will then need to go back to ProEst and copy the password. Then back in QuickBooks, we'll paste in the password and hit enter. We'll tell it yes to save the password. There are two ways you can set up the web connector. The first way is every time you wish to push or pull something to QuickBooks, you will select the ProS estimating application and then click update selected. Second option is to check auto run and set a time for how often you want it to run. Please note, if you use the auto run, when you close this window, you want to click hide, not exit. So the application is always running in the background. For this purpose, we'll choose not to auto run it but select it each time. We then can go back into ProEst. In the setup, we also have the integration type. To either create an estimate summary or to create a detailed estimate. We'll get to showing that later. Right now, we'll click on Synchronize Now, which will bring over the item list into the ProEst accounting codes. We use the item list from QuickBooks for two reasons. One is QuickBooks only allows one cost type per line item, where ProEst allows five. Second reason, is because you can set up counting codes on the individual line items in QuickBooks and have them map back to the items in ProEst. Although it says Synchronize has completed successfully, we still need to go back to the web connector, have it selected, and click Update Selected. This will then pull the item list over into the accounting codes. Once this is done, you can go into the ProEst accounting codes and you can map out the item lists that were imported into the accounting codes to the different divisions or subdivisions in ProEst. Once we're ready to send over an estimate, in the Estimate Center we can go down to the estimate we wish to send over, go into the Setup, and change the job from Active to Awarded. Please make sure you have Awarded set to the Stage Closed 1 status under Estimate Status. You also need to make sure you have a relationship and a contact associated with the estimate and that you have already completed associating all items with the proper accounting codes. We then can click on Save. Since we don't have the web connector set to auto run, we need to open it back up, select ProEst, and click Update Selected. At this point, it will push the estimate over into QuickBooks. Once done, we can go into QuickBooks, go to Customers, highlight the company we sent the estimate over to, and then double click on the estimate to bring it up. As you can see, it just brings over the sum of each accounting code that was associated in the estimate. Now let's go back to ProS and send over a detailed estimate. First in ProS, we need to change the integration type. We'll go to System Settings, Company Setup, Integrations, and in the Setup, we'll choose Create Detailed Estimate. We then can go back to the Estimate Center, scroll down to the estimate we wish to send over, click on the Setup, again change the estimate status from Active to Awarded, make sure we have a relationship and contact filled in, and that the estimate has all accounting codes assigned to it for the individual line items. Hit Save. Again, in the web connector, we'll select ProEst and hit Update Selected. Once finished, we can go back into QuickBooks, and here we can see the other estimate. When we double-click on it, we will then see the individual line items were added into the estimate. Again, you might see the same item listed twice if it has two different cost types associated with it. We've now sent an estimate over to QuickBooks Desktop successfully.